So not all snakes are dangerous and not all snakes belong out in the wild. Water snakes are popping up more and more in California and they may pose a threat to the native snakes and our environment. Also, experts say the problem is likely caused by people giving up their pet snakes. And this is something that they shouldn't just do. Joining us this morning, Dr. Brian Todd, Professor of Conservation Biology, UC Davis. Thanks so much for being Hi. with us. And Jonathan Rose, doctoral candidate, UC Davis as well. Thank you to you for being here. So let's first talk about uh, what the problem is and what we're seeing. So this is one of the non-native water snakes right here. And they've been showing up in California since about 1992. Okay. We have two populations in California now, one in Roseville and one in Folsom. And there's a third population down in Los Angeles County near Long Beach. And not all snakes are bad snakes, but this is an example of a species that shouldn't be here in California. So the problem with that we're seeing is that pet owners of this non-native, this water snake, are basically setting them free out into the wild. Well, it's not clear exactly where they came from, but in 2008, California made it unlawful to possess or to sell this snake. And the populations here in California were actually established before 2008. Okay, so why should we care about this? What's the problem? Well, the concern is that species such as this one may have an impact on other aquatic species such as garter snakes here in California. They also prey on a lot of amphibians and fish. And in here in California, about 80% of our inland freshwater fish are mm -hmm. protected or are in conservation concern, and about half of our amphibians that this guy will feed on. Okay, so these are the native snakes here. These are the ones that are okay, especially during summertime. A lot of people may go out and go, ah, these are dangerous. I shouldn't be around them, but that's not the case. No, these snakes are totally harmless, and they're great snakes to have living near you. Uh, this is a California king snake, which is a very pretty snake. Beautiful. Um, it feeds a lot on other snakes, including rattlesnakes. And it's ah. a good part of our ecosystem, keeps things in balance. So those are the ones we want to stay away from. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And this is a gopher snake, which is very common in the Central Valley especially, and is often mistaken for a rattlesnake uh, because it has a similar pattern and color. Uh, but you'll notice its head is much smaller than a rattlesnake's, and obviously it doesn't have a rattle on its tail. And this is a great snake to have around as well because it eats a lot of pests like small mammals and rodents. So uh, people like to have it around their farms. And where do we see these a lot? Uh, well, you Sacramento, might see these in Sacramento, Folsom. Um, Folsom, all over the Central Valley, really. Um, okay. Near your home or if you're on a trail or if you're driving on a road, maybe uh, in the evening. So these are really distinctive. So people should notice these and not be afraid of them. No, don't okay. be afraid of them. Uh, there's no reason to be afraid. They're just afraid of you, and they're probably, if they see you, they're looking to flee. So I want to talk about the non-natives. Again, go back really quick. What should people do if they don't want to have their snake anymore as a pet? Yeah, so even if you have legally collected a snake here in California, if you no longer are interested in keeping the animal, um, you should contact uh, an exotic uh, uh, agency such okay. as um, the Northern California Herpetological Association, the Sacramento Turtle and Tortoise Society. Sometimes the SPCA can also help find new homes for unwanted pets so that you don't have to turn them loose and so that they won't become uh, new established species that can cause harm to the environment and to other species that we do want to keep common here in California. And it could go beyond California as well. That's right. The problem. Yes, that's okay. right. We want to be really careful. Dr. Brian Todd, UC Davis, Jonathan Rose as well. UC Davis, thank you so much thank for you. being with us thank this morning.